I have to admit I'm quite annoyed at YouTube. I've made a nice walk uh, through Beijing talking about Shanghai, about a complaining truck driver who really openly complains about the logistics problem he has and the truck drivers have that when they drive to Shanghai they get into quarantine and when they leave other places don't w welcome them so they have to quarantine again and no matter how much the fee transportation fee is it, it won't cover all the time they have to wait for and some of them even mentioned that they didn't uh, get provided with food they didn't weren't allowed to leave the cabin etc so i did a whole talk about it at the same time also mentioning that i don't think the the situation in shanghai was actually that much of a problem it was two weeks of annoyance and nuisance to the people in shanghai but it wasn't that people were starving when they said they they don't know uh, where to get food or like how 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 long their food will last that was an expression of uncertainty, not an expression of starvation. So I'm very convinced people didn't starve in Shanghai. Friends that I have in Shanghai also told me, like, when I asked them, how are you? They're like, I still have food, which is not something that you would have expected to hear in China. Um, anyways, why am I annoyed at YouTube? Because that video is not uploading and I have been trying for days, literally days to, to upload it. And it's, it's, it's a 40 minutes video. It's long, but it's not longer than my other ones. And I don't know why it doesn't upload. So I'm trying to do a really short one. Again, I just want to bring out this message. Shanghai has today said they've opened more than a thousand grocery shops again. So Shanghai is back opening up slowly, gradually, step by step monitoring COVID. And um, me personally, I don't follow uh, much of the Western press in, in saying that it was a mistake. I think it is exactly what the majority of the Chinese people want. There's 1.4 billion Chinese roughly in China. Uh, there's only 25 million in Shanghai. Yes, many Shanghainese apparently felt like they would prefer to live with COVID, but they don't get to decide for the whole country. And once the virus began threatening to spread across the whole country, the national government simply said, now it's too much, you have to handle this. And it's been handled, the numbers finally are starting to decline again. The whole population of Shanghai has been tested several times. Yes, people were forced into quarantine. Yes, some don't like that. And especially one German guy got famous because he was complaining and not following the rules. This is very annoying because uh, it hurts all of us foreigners in China. But yeah, I cannot handle, I cannot manage these kind of foreigners who feel that they can go to another country and then uh, disrespect the local regulations. Uh, it, it's it's happened, it's passed, and overall I think everybody's very happy that Shanghai is now getting better. So that's my quick update and I really hope it does upload. The other video, if it still uh, works at one day, I, I will definitely uh, upload it again. There's a truck driver video that I translated and I think it's, it's quite interesting. I may even try to separately upload just that part. Thanks for watching. Please like, forward and comment. Uh, if you enjoy this video, also if you don't enjoy it, please comment and let me know what to change and improve. Thank you.